Summer might bring long gas lines as shortages predicted. Normally what I do on this show is I try to highlight the, the video, the stories that throughout the day, the previous day, are the most popular. And then I have some news stories that I put up. And usually I don't do anything with those news stories necessarily until the next show. But in this case, I'm, I'm going to put this one up there. It hasn't been, well, it hasn't been released for long, so I don't know how how much it will resonate with our audience in general. But I think it's uh, very worth uh, pointing out, and I don't want to alarm people or scare people. I don't know the degree to which we may or may not experience this, but I do think that it's prudent for you to take note. And if you can, take certain precautions uh, going forward. Maybe make sure, especially if you have multiple cars, make sure your multiple cars are filled up to the gas. Make sure you consider uh, rationing so that you, you, you cut down on the amount of trips that you take so you don't have to go to the gas station as often as you have. But as the summer approaches here, maybe to the degree that you can, stock up on some gas. Don't go crazy. You don't need to go crazy. But, yeah. Let's get to the story. This is gas shortage, tanker driver shortage. This is a topic report called gas shortage expected this summer as a result of truck driver shortage. And we're going to call this video gas shortages coming to a summer near you. And this is from CNN.com, gas shortage predicted this summer. There's an excerpt from it. Millions of people stuck at home for more than a year are expected to hit the road for much-needed post-pandemic vacations this summer. Good luck finding gas. Not that there's a looming shortage of crude oil or gasoline. Rather, it's the tanker truck drivers needed to deliver the gas to the stations who are in short supply. According to the National Tank Truck Carriers, the industry's trade group, Somewhere between 20% to 25% of tank trucks in the fleet are parked heading into the summer due to a paucity of qualified drivers. At this point in 2019, only 10% of trucks were sitting idle for that reason. We've been dealing with a driver shortage for a while, but the pandemic took the issue and metastasized it, said Ryan Strebo, the executive vice president of the NTCC. It certainly has grown exponentially and we get to a couple other headlines here related to this story uh, potential gas distribution problems in the usa thoughts and this is a, a quote on the reddit thread a uh, new article on cnn about a shortage of gas tank tank dr truck drivers tanker truck drivers wow a shortage of tanker truck drivers well maybe gas tanker truck drivers we'll say that this would cause a blockade between oil companies and refiners on one side, gas retailers and everything downstream of them on the other side. Depending on what happens with gas retail prices, it could affect EV and other trucking stocks. From sacramento.cbs.local, tracker shortage could lead to summer gas shortage. This is salon owners dub. Okay, I don't know why that... Okay, so somehow I got the wrong excerpt from there. Uh, it's about a salon owner's dog. We don't need that. From VOCM.com, seasonal transition to summer gas causing tightness with product at some pumps. And the Minister of Industry, Energy, and Technology is allaying fears fueled by speculation <coughs> that the province is getting, this is not obviously in America, this is I believe Canada here, uh, but still connected, getting low on gas. Nothing could be further from the truth, says <coughs> Andrew Parson. Gas shortage at some Chevron gas shortage at some Chevron stations appear to be getting better. This is ReviewJournal.com. The situation for gas stations, Chevron gas stations across the Lehigh. I said Lehigh. <laughs> well, that's where I live, Lehigh Valley. That's why I said that. The Las Vegas Valley is getting better. Earlier this week, several Chevron stations ran out of fuel products or only had diesel and/or premium gas available. The company's main pipeline that serves the valley, the the Calvetnev pipeline operated by Kinder Morgan saw operational constraints. Chevron stations across Las Vegas Valley report gas shortage from 8newsnow.com. Rental cars in short supply due to computer chip shortage. Gas shortages also causes issues. So this is from fox5vegas.com. And then finally, gas shortage at some pumps reported in Las Vegas, also from you know, reviewjournal.com. So Initially, they said uh, here that's getting better, but initially, hey, gas shortage at some pumps reported in Las Vegas. And I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything more to say about this. So this is just a little heads up. I don't think that you need to get panicky or, or greatly worried. It's going to be some sort of horrible 
1979 gas lines, but stock up a little bit. Don't go crazy with your stocking up, but just make sure at least that your cars are, are full as long as you can and maybe cut down on driving that are that is non-essential if you can leading up to this. Hopefully, there'll be much ado about nothing. <laughs>